Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. As tomorrow is New Year's Eve, I just wanted to show you how to achieve this blue mascara and blue liner look, which is pretty easy to achieve and you can switch it up to any color you want to. Make sure you always start on a clean canvas and then apply your toner, here I'm using the fresh one and after that I'm using the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream and I'm massaging it very gently around the eye area. I'm hydrating the lips as well using the Bite Every Rose Balm and then I'm applying this Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer, this is the protecting one, which also has an SPF 30 which is amazing. I'm now applying the Changemaker foundation by Bite and I'm blending it into the skin with this iconic London brush which is amazing for buffing out foundation. Even if sometimes we have little imperfections on our skin, I still prefer to use a thin layer of foundation and correct everything with concealer afterwards rather than applying a very thick layer of foundation. The concealer that I'm gonna use is the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm applying it in key areas and I'm also using this concealer to mask any imperfections on the skin, not only under the eyes. Before setting everything with powder, I'm gonna apply this sheer blush by Iconic London and I'm blending it in with my Real Techniques setting brush. Next step is setting everything with powder and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Powder. I'm first applying it with a smaller brush in the smaller areas where I wanna be very precise, especially on the pore areas. This is a very important step in order to have your makeup last longer time. And then I'm switching to a bigger brush and I'm setting the rest of the face. I'm applying the liquid illuminator from Iconic London, this is the shade Original. I place it on the highest points of the cheek, on the bridge of the nose, tip of the nose, tip of the lips as well and a tiny bit on the chin. Even if it's a liquid product, it actually works okay on top of powder as well, but you just have to be a little bit more careful. And last but not least, I'm also applying it on the inner corners of the eyes for that beautiful pop of glow. Of course we want to add some warmth and dimension back into the skin, so now I'm using the Hula Bronzer. I'm applying it underneath the cheekbones, on the forehead, on the temples, a little bit on the nose and on the chin as well for that sun-kissed look. In order to avoid the powdery effect, I'm now using this fresh mist all over the face. This eye look is honestly one of the most easy eye looks I will ever create. Anybody can achieve this look, you just have to start by using this neutral base. I'm using this one by MAC and I'm applying it all over the lids, blending the edges very well. And I'm also gonna apply it on the lower lash line as well. Because Anna has these amazing brows, I'm only gonna brush them using this Refi Clear Brow Gel and I'm just setting them in place. Everybody always asks me about the lashes that I'm using and these are actually one of my favorites, these are the Cupio Silk Lashes. I'm now contouring the lips using this nude lip liner. Tip 
This is a trick I always love to use in order to have that perfect lip line. I'm just using a little bit of foundation or concealer on a flat brush and I'm cleaning up the edges. And now the star of the show, the blue liner. You can actually use whatever color you feel like suits your eyes the best. Blue in general suits very well brown eyes, hazel eyes, but you can choose even a burgundy or a very nice green. So I basically start by applying the liner at the roots of the lashes and then using this painting brush from an art store, I'm just creating the wing. Because lashes are a main focus for this look, I'm gonna add lots and lots of this blue mascara. You can also choose another color if you feel like it suits you better. But this is just switch it up from your classic black mascara and give you a New Year's Eve look. Never forget about your lower lashes because they make your eyes look doll-like and of course for this look we really need that blue mascara on the lower lashes as well. I'm gonna apply this creamy lipstick by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the shade Kim KW. And this is the finished New Year's Eve look. If you recreate this look, don't forget to tag me on Instagram so that I can share your recreations on my stories. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and I wish you all Happy New Year!